wonderful discussion going on here. All right, uh, so golf star Phil Mickelson now regrets saying that he'd leave California over high taxes. The state had just boosted rates, and now for every buck Phil makes, 63 cents goes to the government, which oddly pays for Obama's golf. <laughs> Mickelson has since apologized to anyone he may have upset or insulted. But who did he upset or insult? It's not like he said, hey, I'm leaving California because there are too many gay Samoans. Everyone knows there aren't enough. No, he didn't offend a race, an orientation, or even a size, Dana. No, Phil just invented the preemptive apology. Yep. Could there, could, before there could be outrage, he already folded. <laughs> and that's where we are in this sad, sad world, a place where the successful live in fear of offending people who think their success is a sin. Like Len Berman, a Syracuse professor, they have them there, who blogs at Forbes. Referring to his wealth, he tells Phil, do you have any idea how lucky you are? Hey, professor, do you have any lucky, have any idea how lucky you are? Look at your gig, where there are no standards, no win-loss columns, no performance reviews, no grueling practices, no chance for injury, no criticism from a demanding audience, no young bucks pushing you out the door. No wonder you believe one success comes at the cost of others, because success has never been asked of you. But that's the beauty of being a professor at Syracuse. You will never know how lucky you are or how good you are either.